Hey everybody, it's Mr. Mathlog here. This lesson is on triangles. So don't forget all your lessons can be found at mrmathlog.com and then make sure you click the fifth grade link and that's way at the top right there. So what did I miss? Oh, um, our common core strand for our teachers and then our, our question is how can we classify triangles? So we can classify triangles by their side lengths and by their the measures of their angles. So here's triangles named by their side lengths, okay? So if all three sides are equal, it's called an equilateral triangle okay then if it's equilateral all three sides are equal you'll find out all angles are equal also so it's called equiangular but I haven't found that in your textbook yet so we won't discuss that here but it would be equiangular in fact uh, if it's equilateral which is this triangle right here all these angles end up being 60 60 60 okay so it's an acute triangle actually okay so uh, an isosceles triangle has two congruent uh, sides, okay? So here's the two congruent sides right here. And it also turns out if it's an isosceles triangle, then these angles are equal to each other. The, the, the angles opposite this side and the angle just goes straight across opposite this side. These two angles are equal to each other also. I don't know what those angles are. I just know that they're equal. You know, uh, just as long as these sides are equal, then these angles opposite them are equal. This looks like some sort of a, an acute uh, angle because it's less than 90. 90 would go straight over right here, and this is open less than 90. So I don't know what how much it is. I just know it's an acute angle, and it's equal to the other one. A scalene triangle uh, is a triangle that doesn't have any sides equal. In fact, none of the angles are equal to it either on a scalene triangle. All right, let's try uh, triangles that are named by their angles. Okay, so let's Let's go back, let's review real quick. Scalene triangle means no sides are equal. Isosceles means two of the sides are equal. Equilateral means all three sides are equal. All right, now when we talk about the angles in the triangle, we have these things, uh, uh, we have these triangles called a right triangle. A triangle has one right angle in it, okay? We don't know what these are. Here we do, they say they're 60 and 30. In fact, when you get into high school geometry, there's a whole lesson on this triangle right here. Uh, the SAT, which is a test that uh, a lot of kids take when they go to college, uh, they love this uh, 30, 60, 90 triangle. But, but a right triangle just has one right angle. That's all we're focused on. It has a right angle right there, okay? These other two angles, all I know is that they are acute angles. They can only have one right angle. Remember, they add up to 180. There's 90. There's 60 and 30, 90 plus 60 is 150, 150 plus 30 is 180. All triangles always add up to 180. Okay, and then we have this uh, triangle that's called an acute triangle. An acute triangle, all three angles are acute. Acute means they're all less than 90. So that 75 is less than 90, 75. Hey, what kind of triangle is this also by the sides? This is also an isosceles triangle because this angle equals this angle means that this side equals this side. The side that's opposite this angle, which is this side, is equal to the side that's opposite this side, uh, angle. So it's isosceles, but when, we, when we're talking about the angles, this is called an acute triangle right here, okay? Because all three angles are, are less than 90 degrees. And then we have an obtuse triangle. An obtuse triangle has one obtuse angle in it, okay? The, all three of these angles add up to 180 also, okay? But it can only have one obtuse angle. Obtuse means um, uh, that it's over 90 degrees and it's less than 180 so uh, 130 is over 90 and it's less than 180 these two guys are always acute angles so it has one obtuse and the other two guys are acute angles okay so so with respect to the sides you guys let's go back to the sides we have whoops we have um, uh, scalene no equal sides isosceles two equal sides equilateral three equal sides and when we're talking about the angles whoops then we have an obtuse triangle with one obtuse angle acute triangle where all of the angles are acute and a right triangle with one right angle. Okay, so here we go. Classify the triangles and write them as isosceles, scalene, or equilateral. That's with the sides. And then classify them with acute, obtuse, or right angle. Okay, so let's look at the sides real quick. We have 8, 6, and 10. None of the sides are equal, so when no sides are equal, it's called scalene. Okay, so it's a scalene triangle. Okay, look, it has one right angle in it, so it's also going to be a right triangle. With the one right angle, it's a right triangle.
Okay, let's look over here. This uh, little tick mark says it's equal to this side with this tick mark. So these two sides are equal. So if two sides are equal, then it's an isosceles triangle. Okay, and then it has this obtuse angle. That's over 90 degrees right there. So it has an obtuse angle. It's an obtuse triangle. Okay. Over here, 50, 50 tells me isosceles right here, okay? 22, okay, this angle is definitely less than 90, so it's an acute angle, so that means this angle is also acute. So it's a, uh, uh, we have uh, two equal sides, three acute angles, so it's going to be isosceles and it's going to be acute. Okay, here. Look at the sides. None of the sides are equal. Okay, so no equal sides, and it has a right angle right there. So no equal sides, right angle, scalene, right triangle. All right, all right. So try this, you guys. Let's draw the type of triangle described by the lengths uh, of the sides and by the measures of the angle. So in this little uh, box right here, we're going to draw an acute scalene triangle. So that means none of the sides are equal, none of the angles are equal either, and they're all less than 90 degrees. So there's an acute scalene triangle, okay? So notice all these angles are less than 90 degrees right there, and those should add up to 180. And none of these sides are equal also. So uh, they're all less than 90, says it's acute, and all the sides are not equal, so it's scalene. Okay, over here, we're going to draw an acute isosceles. Okay, so acute isosceles is going to be, uh, there's the isosceles part, two equal sides, and all the angles are less than 90 right there. So it's an acute triangle. Okay, this one's going to be an obtuse scalene. So that means no equal sides and an obtuse angle. Okay, so there is no equal sides, so uh, 9, 17, and 10, so that's why it's scalene, and it's obtuse because it has one obtuse angle. Okay, here we're going to draw an obtuse isosceles triangle. Okay, so an obtuse isosceles triangle has one obtuse angle, and it's isosceles. There's two equal sides right there. Okay, this little two tick mark just means that this one does not equal these guys right here. Okay, all right. So can we draw a triangle that is a right isosceles triangle? And how about a right equilateral triangle? Well, I can draw the first one, a right isosceles triangle. Here's a right isosceles triangle. These two sides are equal. There's the right angle right there. Okay, now look, if these two sides are equal, these two angles are equal. The angle that's opposite this side is this angle. The angle that's opposite this side is this angle right here. They're equal, and since they have to add up to 180, then they're both 45. So this is an isosceles right triangle. Okay, now this other one, you guys, here we have an equilateral triangle. An equilateral triangle, they're all 60s right here. So we can't make a right equilateral triangle because a right triangle has to have a 90 degree angle in it. Uh, and so it can't be equilateral because... Um, uh, equilaterals are always 60 right there so this is so this part can't happen right here but we can make an isosceles right triangle no problem okay guys take care